racing since I was eight. Okay. I'm 24 now, so math to that. Yeah, I use calculators now. An engineer, so we use computers. We out here. My mental game, I think I'm different than a lot of skiers just on the mental game side. I, if I focus for too long on the course, I overthink things and that's where I, I throw my mistakes out. So if I can be a little loosey goosey, talk, and then I need only five seconds before the, uh, the starter says race are ready, that, that's when I focus. If I think too much, it doesn't work out as much. And I mean, for some people being in that super calm mindset, that works really well for them, but I'm a different breed. Skiing, um, especially in the Pro Tour, is a little different. In, uh, in the normal fist profile, you're doing two runs. You kind of have your set right before that run. You know the conditions. It's not going to change too much, hopefully. But with Pro Tour, you're doing a lot more runs than normal. Last run, finals. A little behind. Not as much as last time, but still a little behind. <laughs> I, I, I went for it. I, I dove to the shoulder, slid. It looked a little gnarlier than it felt. I definitely watched the video after the crash, but from my race against Simon right beforehand, like I thought he had it, but I just had a little bit longer reach. So I was hoping for the same thing to happen. Reached a little early, with a little loose on the skis. I mean, you risk it all and see what happens, but that time didn't work. Rob just once again, somehow pulls right ahead of me. Thought I had him. Just I think that, yeah, that's another mental thing. You just, you gotta keep in your own headspace and you can't think of the other racer. I love being back in Steamboat. Um, I'm now a full-time resident. I'm coaching here for Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club and skiing on Hallison all the time. And I just, I love the venue. It's got a great culture. And it's just an awesome venue to be, uh, be a part of and be racing on. I mean, can't beat it really.